What's going on guys? Cole AK Proximity bringing a brand new video today. The time has come. I am going to MLG Orlando. At the time this video is going up, I'm actually in Orlando. So that's very exciting stuff. I'm looking forward to competing under the Chaotix Gaming brand. I will be vlogging it so you will be able to see how things went while we were down there. Um, so get, you know, you can, you can get excited about that if you like watching the vlogs. If not, that's cool too. But right now I have some FFA gameplay going and I know a lot of you guys will probably want to see some team gameplay. However, most unfortunately... I, I just cleared out my hard drive, and uh, so I didn't have any footage from before this week, and this week when we practiced, we only got to play one night, unfortunately, with the way everybody's scheduled turned out, and I had my recording software up, but I wasn't recording. So this gameplay is actually ripped from my stream, uh, so I don't have any team gameplay, but I do have some HDS FFA gameplay going up right now, which is relevant too, because after this event, I will, uh, as, as you guys didn't know or if you didn't see, uh, either in my 30k, Day in the Life, or on Twitter, I ended up winning my Microsoft Store local tournament uh, for FA, which got me a spot in the regional qualifier. So in about a month, I have to go back and play again. And if I win that, I get to go to the World Championship for FFA. So uh, I've been grinding this playlist. I've been feeling pretty confident. I think I've been getting on and playing it more and more. And I've been trying to pay attention to what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong so I can constantly make improvements because I really want to give it my all. I want to see if I can actually, you know, make it to Worlds and then, you know, shit, if I can make it to Worlds, let's see if I can actually win the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So I know I have work to do. I know I need to get better and I'm I'm willing to do so. I have a lot of competitive drive right now and I, I just want to keep on trying to get better at it. So anyways, that's what this gameplay is. Um, I chose this one specifically because I was playing against some pretty good players. Um, anyways, going into the event, I'm pretty excited. I'm really looking forward to hanging out in Orlando. Um, this might be my last event as far as 4v4 goes. It really just depends. Um, but I'm really excited because I've always wanted to compete in an MLG event, and I think it's going to be a really great experience. Um, so I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are too. If we do end up getting to play on main stage during the you know competition, I will make sure I tweet it out so you guys can be alerted and you can then tune into the stream. Um, if you have if you don't follow me on Twitter already, I highly recommend you do. If you don't have a Twitter, you should make one. And once you follow me, you can turn on notifications. So if you don't want to miss that. That's the way to do it. Uh, the tw you know my the link to my Twitter is in the description uh, as it always is. So make sure you do that. Um, yeah, that's that's about it, guys. I'm just gonna let this gameplay kind of play out. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, wish us luck. We're you know I, I just don't want I, I want to quickly say a lot of people in the comments are constantly like, you guys are gonna win it. I know it. Listen, we are not gonna win the event, and I'm not going into the event with a negative mindset. It's just we are not a pro team. We've been practicing for like a month. <laughs> there are teams like Optic Gaming who are, you know, just we, we're not that good, okay? We're not. I, I, I know that you guys have faith in us. I believe in that, and that's awesome. We're going to go out there. We're going to do our best. We're going to try to place the best we can, but we are not going into this event thinking we're going to win it, and I don't want that to be the mindset that people have. If you want to be able to be a champion in Halo, it takes time. It takes years, and we're just not there, all right? And I really appreciate the support. I do. I don't want people to think that we've defeated ourselves. We, we haven't. But we also don't go into this event thinking we're going to walk away winning. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, if we win, great. I mean, we're not going to go into any game not trying to win. You know what I mean? But, like, I don't know. Okay. That's all out there. I love you all. Thank you guys for the insane growth, uh, the support on all my videos recently. And it's just been awesome. So I appreciate it, guys. Take it easy. I will see you guys when I get back. Enjoy the gameplay. I am not. Uh, APG is on Instinct, or what they got picked up by Renegades. He's on Renegades. Alongside Neptune. Um, Lunchbox and APG Lunchbox Neptune. What the fuck is her fourth? It's another pro. It's a uh, Ace. That's it is. What? Who did it? You son of a bitch. Yeah, that's right. What a good nade. I forgot about camo again. I hate myself, dude. There it is! One more bullet and I had it, dude. Oh, man.
Can you not shoot at me, Nifty? Fucking shoot at the guy in front of you, you weirdo, man. Damn it, dude. Come on, peek out. Come on. Come on. Asua D U U U. Yo, Logan, dude, with the two months, dude. How's it going, brother? Logan, hope you're having a great day, man. Thank you for the two months, man. Welcome back to the sweats. I'm gonna fight this guy. Perfect. I I I, I told you. Fuck, I would have loved to hit that five shot. I mean, I respect that you don't find Penguin as an attractive man, but I mean, dude's really good at Halo, so, you know, whatever. Come on, come on. No, dude, you did not. <laughs> I knew I could hit those shots, and I knew I, I was like, I'm gonna five them, and I'm gonna get this camo. I, I know it, dude. I feel it in my bones. And what did I do? I fived them, but I got five too, so rip, rip the beer. I'm getting melted. Oh god, let me get a kill of this at least. Alright, that's fine. I'll take it. Okay, uh, camo is at 20, so it's good. Yo, I'm, I, my dude's going well, man. Going well. Can't complain, dude. No, I like Zane a lot, dude. He's like, yeah, he's just like a really down to earth, cool dude. He's funny. Gotta love Penguin. Five minutes remain. Penguin's so good too. Like he's he's really good. And as we're mentioning, he's just like a funny dude. I think he's like get a he's a real cool dude. I'm a fan. How do you find your best play style, like where you fit into a group role? Um, yeah, it, it's hard to say, man. You kind of just have to feel it the way you feel most comfortable. For me, I play the same like style as Royal 2. I'm obviously not as good as Royal 2, but the same style where I, I kind of like, I sit back, I'm taking longer range shots at people. I'm still a slayer and I put down a lot of damage, but I don't I don't like like flying and getting people's faces as much. It's like, as, I like hitting shots like I just hit right there. Like those longer range shots, I feel like I'm really good at those. I feel like I'm confident at those. And like I recognize that, so I try to position myself to put myself in situations where I can get a lot of those situate like those those encounters, and uh, I can win a lot more gunfights that way. So you kind of have to figure out what you think your best strong suit is. Like Clay, for example, my teammate Reclaimer, if you know who he is, uh, he he's extremely good. He is extremely good at winning gunfights up close. So he. Yeah, like he constantly plays to where he tries to get more in people's face. Um, and so, it's kind of just how you have to think about it, man. What are you best at? And then, yeah. yeah. And, like, if you want to learn how to play better like that, like, for me, I'll watch Royal 2. I'll try to pay attention to where he's positioning himself, how he's, like, playing, where is he, where he's going to, you know, make sure he's helping his team out best as possible. So, I do the same thing. Um... You know, like I said, he's obviously better than I am, um, but that's kind of what you have to do. You have to just kind of figure out what you want to do, and then, uh, yeah, pay attention, learn. That's like, Snakebite's got a really good point there. He's pointing out, like, when he went pro, that wasn't a thing. Uh, you didn't have streams to watch. You didn't have players like that to watch. So if you want to get better at a certain play style, like, if you feel like you have freakish movement and you're just really good at, like, winning gunfights in any range or anything like that, if you're just an overall freak at the game, just a raw talent slayer, um, I would recommend... You know, watching somebody like Frosty or, uh, you know, Shotzi. Both those dudes is crazy good. Um, so you can learn a lot from watching streams that, uh, like watching streams of people that play like you do. And for me, that's Royal 2. Again, he's he's better than me. I'm not saying I'm as good as Royal 2. I want to be clear. I'm saying my play style is similar to Royal 2's. And so, yeah. That's what I like to do. 
or that's what I would recommend doing too. If you can figure out who you play like as far as pros go, try to watch them and learn from them. Your best strength is movement innovation. Then you should definitely, um, you should definitely try to watch uh, <clears throat> people like yeah, Frosty or Shotzi. Uh, who, are the, who are some of the best support players? I, in my opinion, the best support player in the game is Lethal. Lethal is an excellent support player. He is always doing whatever the team needs to be done, and so he does an extremely good job with that. So I would recommend watching that. Um. One minute left. But yeah, like, again, like, so like, I'm like a Slayer, right? But I'm different from like a Shotzi or Frosty type Slayer. I'm different from like a Reclaimer type Slayer. Or like, Clay's like flying people get in their face. That's why some people ask me like, who's better? And it's really, it's, it's, it's not easy to say because we play so differently. Like, he and I don't play the same. I'm a Slayer, he's a Slayer, but I play the long range. Shots like I just hit there. Uh, he plays more like in your face. So, it really does, like, there really are different types of players, man. People don't realize that, but there are. Distraction. Ten seconds. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, and it's not like I'm just sitting back and just only doing long shots, but that is like the way I, I put down a lot of damage to get a lot of kills, but I'm just, I'm sitting back Over. usually, and I'm, I'm really beaming from a range. That's why I, uh, play like that. It's all, it's all about your positioning, where you're standing, and being able to put a lot of damage on you. You're going to get a lot of assists, you're going to get a lot of kills, you're going to put down a ton of damage if you're playing, like, the way I'm describing